Okay, you're listening to 88.7 WRSU-FM in New Brunswick after some slight technical difficulties. Um, we are we are back, and you just heard Number Theory with Common Vibe off of their new album, soon to be released, called Time to Burn, and we are sitting here chatting with the fellows from Number Theory. Everyone can say hi now. Hey, what's going on? Yo. Yo out there. <laughs> You could put those uh, oh, right there. I need headphones? Yeah, well, you don't need them. But then you won't hear what he's saying. Oh. Sort of. So I can hear Dave now? You should. Yo, what's up, my friend? <laughs> or not. These headphones sound really You can't hear me. Or maybe, maybe the headphones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe another. Dave, don't say that about him. <laughs> 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 All right, well, anyway, we're here with Number Theory to, uh, to chat. That's better. About their, uh, their new album time to burn so um oh. yeah that's us <laughs> okay well anyway so uh when uh you've been working on this for, for a little while yeah um just been like recording uh bit by bit you know and um just finally putting it all together cool and uh hopefully get it out sometime soon you know yep. it's gonna have about 14 songs on it so It'll uh, it'll be yeah good amount so, of music. So is it uh, mostly like new album, uh, then like completely new stuff, or because I've I've had some my my uh, listeners have been uh, listening to uh, some number theory here and there um, from the right. nooks and crannies and uh, the uh, the mommy single, yeah, single. yeah. That's actually yeah. the mommy singles on the new album, and as well as nooks and crannies, which is our first EP. We it's just total package. Just, yeah, it's, it's everything we've ever done. So awesome. recorded wise, yeah, it's a total package. You get all the number theory in one shot. <laughs> yeah, you do. And we recorded it at the same place, so hopefully it has some consistency and you know, kind of flows. Mm -hmm. Cool. Where did you record it? Uh -huh. uh, with Plinky, Seventeenth uh, Avenue Studios. That's it, Manville. Yeah. Plink's the man. Plink's the Plink man. is the man. Yeah, give him some business. Seventeenth Avenue <laughs> in Manville. Not too much, though, because I want to get some time in there. Soon. <laughs> so, uh, cool. So, we're definitely looking forward to the album. I guess we'll... Uh, so, that first track, Common Vibe. Um, yeah, it's the opener. The opener. So, uh, we just listened to that one, and uh, I guess we can take a listen to another one, because I keep hearing some sort of buzzing. I'm hearing something, that. too. I want to go find out what that is. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> we we're about to be attacked by... Uh, aliens or something i don't know right so we're going to uh treat ourselves to some number theory this one is called heavy traffic off of their new album time to burn here you go
Okay, you're listening to WRCFM, New Brunswick. The spectacle, that was just Number Theory off of their newest album. Well, newest album. Soon to be released album, Time to Burn. That one's called Heavy Traffic, and we're sitting here chatting with Number Theory. And uh, so... Uh, it's good to be here. It's good to be here? You sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you positive now? I'm positive, man. Okay. After the technical difficulty, it's cool. Now, this yeah, isn't the dude. first time yeah. uh, that... Uh, well, Dave has been in the studio once before. Yeah, I think it was like maybe a year ago, something like that. Yeah, something Yeah, something like maybe that. Maybe even longer. About a year ago with, uh, with Liz from the Dust Mites. Right. Hanging out. I have some pictures of that, actually. I should... Uh, pass them along cool um but uh yeah actually i think we have a uh an announcement with you that you guys did when you were here today oh yeah so I, I'll, I'll have to dig that one up i like to hear that but uh a lot of people well people are wondering i haven't well i've been playing a lot of uh number theory over the past because it's been like year and a half and everything and uh a lot of uh they're part of I guess sort of like a conglomeration of bands under um, Lump and Loaf Records as the Dust Mites with Liz yeah. kind of thing as well. So I, I guess, uh, like what would you say, like how do you think that's... Yeah, we're kind of a part like of a... Family. Like a, yeah, it's like a family um, slash commune slash <laughs> conspiracy. <laughs> um, no, um, it's really just all our friends. We're all got some bands that we're in and... Um, uh, props to Mintz, by the way. He's the head of Lump and Loaf Records. And <laughs> he's, he's the mad scientist. Uh, yeah, behind uh, the Lump and Loaf Records. And, you know, it's just about bringing some original music to the scene that, uh, you know, so it's a good cause. And there's a bunch of good bands on there. And it's growing, you know. Definitely. <clears throat> yeah, I was he was supposed to uh, actually come on on air a couple weeks ago, but uh, unfortunately they were uh, spraying for bugs or something uh. <laughs> <laughs> so i wasn't on air so that had to be canceled but uh <laughs> the uh one of the things that i wanted to play because we've had this in the studio for a little while and i know it has gotten pretty pretty good airplay mm -hmm. and uh basically on this album uh it's it's the whole family uh the number theory trio of madness um burning up white and uh, the Dust Mites and Marbles, all these groups that I've played on the uh, for my listeners here and there. So uh, definitely, yeah. hopefully people are enjoying this here, um, me ranting on and on and mumbling. But uh, <laughs> It was a lot of fun. It's fun to be on that compilation. <laughs> but uh, cool, cool. We're going to, right now, we're going to listen to the, uh, the contribution that Number Theory made for that, the Christmas Chill. And uh, just curious, how did you decide to do that? I know it's in here and I could read it, but... Yeah, you know, that was just a really, like, quick song that was written that um, I remember Mintz uh, just saying, you know, we're going to do a Christmas album. That was it, for last year's Dogs of War. Yeah, that was actually for last year, but we recorded it after Christmas, um, sometime in, like, March or something, or you know, some yeah. something not really uh, very yeah, Christmas uh, festive, you know, like feeling. But songs. yeah, so we just um, we decided to go ahead and record it because we wrote it. Damn it! So, um, so but it was just written in in one night. And we just uh, just did it, you know. Cool. Well, to quote the uh, the liner notes, <laughs> the number theory likes to chill all the time, anytime, especially <laughs> at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, that's true. <laughs> that is true. I that's think that's true. That's what we that do. Just about says it right there. So right now, here you go. Christmas chill. The number theory.
We're back. Number theory. Run. So, <laughs> quick, 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 back Quickly. to the mic. Um, so that was Christmas Chill from the number theory off of the Happy Freaking Holidays, Freaking Holidays <laughs> compilation from Lump and Loaf Records. And uh, by chance, if you want more information on this release, you can go to lumpandloaf.com. And if you're not sure how to spell lump and loaf, which I would imagine, you know, people might throw in extra vowels or something in there, so I'll just spell it out. It's L U M P N L O A F dot com. Um, or you can go to the number theory dot com. Or you can go to the number theory dot com, which I think is a little easier to sp- just phonetically spell out. Yeah, you can. <laughs> if you're spell uh, it like you say it. If you're yeah, spell it like you say it. Uh I know that uh, this uh, this compilation. Well, I have. I actually personally have some that, if any callers want to call up, I have available. I know it's freely available. If you can get your hands on a copy of it, um, it's freely available anywhere freely that we available. are. So, anywhere that we're playing, you can yep. get one. And uh, speaking of uh, playing, <laughs> the uh, you guys have a, a show coming up. Actually, well, you just played a show last weekend but you have yeah. another show coming up yeah we're playing uh this friday at uh club jimmy which is down next to the stone pony in asbury park cool. and uh playing with some buds of ours um trio of madness is playing and uh and little dipper little dipper, yeah, yep. little dipper. so and spectacle x and uh so we're psyched about that cool so it sounds like a uh, a pretty uh, pretty rocking show. Yeah, you know uh, I've never been to the <laughs> club, Jimmy. So I'm looking forward to playing there. Awesome. Yeah, I actually I've never been there. E- uh, I've either. seen the outside. So yeah, I've seen the outside. What I've uh, been next door at the Stone Pony actually, but um, yeah, uh, they share the, a wall. Uh, 
When did that place open up? Actually, you know. Yeah, I really don't know. No. Yeah. About month, not that long like, two ago. Two months ago, at yeah. the most. So it's a pretty new place. I hear it has a uh, an interesting interesting vibe. I uh, I frequently talk. Obviously, you know, you guys play at the Broadway Central Cafe, and uh, I know from what I've heard, a lot of people say it's a similar vibe, without like with like an upgraded sound system and everything. I don't know if that's what. Uh, I they have an outdoor atrium. Oh, okay. And that's about all the information I can give you. <laughs> they have an outdoor atrium. And it's a very live sounding room. Oh, okay. So I uh, take that as you know. So it's a new experience. It's take a new that as you would like to take it. So, <laughs> so it'll be it'll be a new experience for people. Um, if you haven't seen the number theory at over at Jimmy. So <laughs> Yeah. Come see us in a really live reverby sounding room. You awesome. won't uh, regret that. Cool. So um, that's this Friday, and it's uh, over at Jimmy in Asbury Park. Club Jimmy. Club Jimmy. Is it? it, it it's not. And it's Jimmy with an I. J I M I. Like the master. But is it called Club Jimmy, or is it just Jimmy? Club Jimmy. Is it Club Jimmy? Because people say Jimmy's, but I wasn't sure if it was Jimmy's, Jimmy, or Club Jimmy. Club Jimmy. Okay. okay. Club Jimmy's. <laughs> that sounds kind of fun, too. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're a little uh, cracked out over here, <laughs> uh, metaphorically speaking, of course. Of course, absolutely. <laughs> but uh, the uh, doors open nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock. Something like that. Yeah. And uh, over twenty-one and over. Twenty-one and over only. I'm sorry, anyone who's underaged. I feel for you. Have to wait a couple years. Just stay at home and drink if you're underage. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no bad. Bad, bad. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> bad, Tony. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. These aren't the droids you're looking for. So, what, uh, I guess, obviously, there's only two members of Number Theory here. I yeah. guess you may want to talk about the, uh, yeah. what um, members are missing. Give We're some props to uh, the other boys. Um, we have Nick, who plays guitar, a.k.a. Kemper, and we have Jeff. Uh, we go by a lot of nicknames, so I had to think about Jeff's name. <laughs> we call him Scallions. And, uh, Scallions? So, <laughs> so he's ask. our drummer. and uh, It's, a, it's so. a complicated story involving some Scallion pancakes. And yeah. Ew. Yeah. Wait, you're not down with Scallion pancakes? I don't think so. Oh, oh they're good. They're like um, potato pancakes, but with Scallions in them. And they're deep fried. They're deep Actually, fried. I How might could you like not them. like them? And they Actually, come. If it's deep fried. Yeah, and they have like this cool soy sauce. Everything tastes good deep fried. It's deep fried shoe and it'll taste good. <laughs> <laughs> Anything deep fried, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So I saw, I was looking at the, uh, you were using, oh, actually, yeah, I, th I did hear an organ in there. Yeah. Courtesy of Plink. Plink's playing keyboards there, too. Nice. Nice. And, um, yeah, well, actually, uh, Queens, Liz... Uh, Gonzalez from Trio is uh, playing, doing some background vocals too. That's right. In case uh, you missed the connection, also Liz is also yes, the same Liz from uh, Dust Mites, the uh, the other uh, another Lump and Loaf and Trio artist. of Madness. Yes, yeah, so it's Trio of Madness, um, Dust Mites, and and Dead Cats, Cats, too, yeah. Cats yeah. And there's another group too, but I can't think of. <sighs> She's in about 12 bands. Wow. Well, she used to play with Money in Both Pockets. I forget what they were called after that. Money in Both Pockets. It was like an Irish folk. Oh, group. yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, what were they called? They used Clover to be called Tones or something. Or something another like that. one? I don't know. All right. But Money yeah, so Liz, uh, it's one big happy family. Yeah. Basically, everyone's playing and everything. Very, very cool deal. Um, so I think we should hear at least one more song. I'll give you... I'll give you a slight a, a choice here. All right. Um, <laughs> of what we have left I on the spot right. here. Um, quick, quick, quick. Let's quick. go with. Uh, what's that yeah, maybe psychic readings. Psychic Featuring Liz on backing vocals, also. That's number eight. Eight. Yes. Eight. eight. Okay. Cool. All right. So we're gonna listen to at least one more number theory song here. This one. Um, another track off of the uh, album coming out again it's called time to burn 
more information is at thenumbertheory.com. Probably would want to check there to find out when it's going to be released. And the title of this song is Psychic Readings. Here you go.
right, you're listening to WRCUFM in New Brunswick. That was Lumble No Fartis, the Dust Mites, with Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer off of the Happy Frickin' Christmas compilation. So it's uh, been a treat having you guys on. Cool. Uh, it's, been, it's been a real pleasure being here. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot for having us down. Cool. And uh, we're going to have to wrap things up a little bit. And uh, I'm not sure if this went on because of the... Uh, the di- technical difficulty we had earlier, so I'm going to read through this one more time. Um, some of the music heard on WRSU is brought to you by a program grant from the Princeton Record Exchange, located at 20 South Tulane Street in downtown Princeton. Princeton Record Exchange, with over 60,000 titles in stock, buys and sells CDs, LPs, and DVDs. They can be reached at 609-921-0881 or on the web at prex.com. Okay, so um, I'm not going to be here next week. The uh, preempted by sports, just listeners will let you know. Um, so uh, I will see you guys, or you guys will hear me in about two weeks. So tune in on Tuesdays, the spectacle, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. You've been listening to the number theory for the last hour, and I'm going to close with one of the. Uh, to me, for some reason, it's kind of a classic number theory song. I've played it on my show a lot. Off of, um, well, actually, it's off of their new album now, but it was a single that they had released. Yeah. Called mm-hmm. Mommy, What's a Number Theory? That's it. So here you are. This is Mommy. See you in about two weeks. Thank you. And Bye-bye. of Thanks course, they'll be playing on Friday at Jimmy's in Asbury Park, thenumbertheory.com for more info.
You're listening to WRSU-FM, New Brunswick.